here in Turlock at 5.30 and only on CBS 13, a woman caught in the crossfire in the shootout that left a cop and suspect shot. Bullet holes, blown out windows in a neighborhood. And tonight we know one of the two people arrested is now free. Thanks for staying with us at 5.30. I'm Curtis May. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. Tonight, neighbors are on edge. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live in Turlock with the interview you'll see only on CBS 13. And Madison, you just learned some new information about that officer, right? That's absolutely right. Yes, that officer that was shot last night has since been released from the hospital. As we reported then, and I'll say it again now, that officer is expected to be okay. All of that information coming from the Turlock Police Department. That's where I am right now. They're the lead agency on this for updates. As for that neighborhood you mentioned, neighbors still are on edge. One, a single mother spent the night away from the windows with her children, only hearing what was going on right outside her front door. Then waking up this morning, she saw what was left. A Turlock home security camera captured the moments that have this block on edge even today. The sounds of what happened aren't the only reminder that this neighborhood was at the center of a shootout Thursday night. All of this from last night. Mm hmm. Yes. Bullet holes in the windows of a car parked across the street from the house where a suspect shot at law enforcement. Some of the gunshots hit the windows and the side of a neighbor's car. I was surprised, seriously, because I, well, I mean, I knew he was into something because he's, he's always like driving around like crazy. And well, in a lot of that kind of stuff with guys hanging out outside and inside, always doing with the gun thing. Henry Moreno Arroyo is in custody for attempted murder, and records show this was his house. Just across the street, his neighbor thinks about the what ifs after she spent the night inside with her children, worried. Uh, oh, I don't know how to feel about that right now. I'm just, it's just like so many things. Like, I'm scared. Of course, like everyone, I guess. And well, I don't know. Let's. A notice on the door of the home from the Stanislaw County Sheriff warns of a chemical agent on the property. The box marked for C5. These details the shot out windows, reasons why this neighbor says she's ready to move. Oh my God, thank God Mikey wasn't in there. Otherwise, it would be worse. Just hard to imagine. Some of her kids' belongings were even still in the back seat of that car, covered with glass. Now, she did tell me she felt a little more at ease this morning when she was able to send them to school because she did get a call from her children's elementary school letting her know that there were no suspects that were at large at that time and that her kids were safe to go to school. The same message then put on social media here by the school district in Turlock to let all parents know that this last Friday before the holiday break was safe. For all students in the area of where this all went down to go to school and be okay. How frightening. But Madison, we know two people were brought into custody at one point, but one of them uh, walked free. Why did that happen today? We're still working on getting answers on that. I think this investigation is still in those early stages. Neighbors that I did talk to say, you know, that confused them too, and they still have those questions as well, but have been assured by law enforcement that the suspect that's in custody is the one that was responsible. So, again, we'll continue to bring you those answers, of course.